from historic Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Boston Red Sox. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Well, Singy, when you consider the top hitters ballparks in the sport, this has got to be one of them. I'll say this. Pitchers have to stay with their game. They can't look over their shoulder and think, I have to be fine and perfect on every pitch. Continue to pitch to your strengths, and you'll come out of here with a good outing. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. About to get started here, and starting this one, Chris Sale. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, Sale's a strikeout pitcher, and the thing about it is he'll throw strikes early, but then start teasing the zones, and that's what the great ones do. you got to make sure you elevate him, get him out over the plate. That's the only way you're going to have a chance. Ready to go now. Now up for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. That one misses, and this one is off and running. First pitch, 1 o'clock. And it's even up. Good eye right there. Next offering is downstairs. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Now it's Randy Rosarena. Pitch is in there. It's 0-1. Singing the Red Sox won the World Series in 2018 in five games. And Chris Sale, normally a starter, ended up coming out of the bullpen. He recorded the final three outs. He struck out the side to finish things off. You and I called that game together. Yes, we did. It was a whole lot of fun. This to third, and it gets by him. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Diaz headed for the plate. He'll score easily, and it's 1-0. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Josh Lowe, the next to hit. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. Sale ready. Up the middle. One out in the yeah. top of the first. That is cool. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. Now, with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Boog, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. And sale deals. And that one hammered out towards left field. That one back there, and it is gone way over the monster. A two-run shot, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. Going 
Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Here's Manuel Margot. Softly hit to third. Low throw, and he can't pick it. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Harold Ramirez. Man at first with one gone, Harold Ramirez, next to hit for the Rays. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. That one's in there. That's strike one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Sale delivers. On the ground to first, could be two. Over to Story for one, back to first, double play. And that's it for the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 3 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Fenway, and on the mound in this one, Tyler Glasnow. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Bottom of the first, and here is Sedane oh, Rafaela. Oh, the second baseman today, Rafaela. And a pitch. Here's a strike. Glass now back to work, the 0-1. And he lays down a bunt. And that's just foul. Glass now, ready and deals. That misses the zone. Now one and two. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup, and there's one away. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Little tardy on that fastball is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Good eye right there. One down, base is empty. And another ball. And now it's filled up. Three and two. So Devers will take his base. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional that walk, hurt. but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's Turner now on the ground, right side. Oh. 
next offering is down low one ball one strike. Swing and a ball lifted left field. A Rosarena moving under it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there are two down. Batting four. The right field. Take a look at the lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm make him uncomfortable a little bit the guys that can handle the bat and perhaps you know bunt bunt for a base hit get him moving off the mound if you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow step out mess up his timing somehow try to get in his head a little bit and then when he does come in the zone you may only get one pitch you better not miss it Devers leads off first with two down to the inning to the right side takes it himself third out and that ends the frame and the Red Sox leave one they trail it here three nothing back here in Boston now at the plate junior Caminero it's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively but runs pretty well so when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above oh. average speed, but he does. One ball, no strike. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Pitch no. misses oh. inside. Two balls, no Two strikes ball. to count. No strike. It affects the game in so many ways, right? Your ability to come back is usually tied to power. If you oh. can deliver a huge oh. hit with one swing of the bat, it really changes your capability when you fall behind. ball left side he'll see another the wind of the pitch that's the third Devers gathers and throws to first one out in the second the short Taylor Walls Taylor Walls digs in now a switch hitter batting right and I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Strike one. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised oh. a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. And he deals. Ball two. Next one misses, and the count is three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3 1 count. Three Swing ball. and a miss, and the count's full. And he walked him. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And now the catcher comes up to him. Rene Pinto, runner on the goal. That's in for a strike. Safe at second with a stolen base. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal a base. But right here, they successfully move that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Don't give up the run. You'll want. 
Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire, Singy. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But, you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this one. Runner at second here, one gone. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And that misses off the outside edge. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Fouls it off, still one and two. At the belt and fires. Packs and misses, it's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. strike if the he takes it. Game. Pretty textbook Young pitching. Game. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Diaz in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. That one is absolutely belted. He muscles that one out the opposite way, and they throw a pair on the board. It's five zip. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run to the slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Here's the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. First offering, and it just misses. Two down, nobody on. Lifted in the air, right center field. Duvall in position. And that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And the lead is now 5 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Ready to go for the last Ready half of the inning. Adam well Duvall right at the play. The center fielder. So, yeah, Adam Duvall's a guy that's had a nice career, but 2021, the year that was kind of the signature year in his resume. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Well, most importantly, a World Series champion with the Atlanta Braves, first inning World Series Grand Slam, the swing he will never forget. Next one is off the plate. And now it's even one and one. Duvall split that season between Miami and Atlanta in 21. Ended up winning the gold glove and he led the National League and runs batted in. Next offering is in for a strike. And the one two misses to even the count. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Caminero settles under it. Makes the catch for the out. Batting six. six. No left field. Masataka. And stepping in for Boston, Masataka Yoshida. And that oh. one just missed off the outside edge. The 
the 1 0. And he pumps it a strike. Well, wow, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. And a ball and two strikes. In the dirt. Over to Diaz. Yep. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Here's Trevor Story. First pitch, and he just misses. There's a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Clips the outside corner, and that is strike two. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Nothing doing for Boston. Still looking at that five nothing deficit. Back here in Boston Leading top half of the third head. inning. Now the it's right going to be Josh Lowe. Josh Lowe 25 years old and he's usually in center but today starting in right. And here it comes. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Well, less responsibility for him today, making the move from being the captain of the outfield to moving to right field. So he can let his center fielder take those balls in the gap and kind of like a little day off. To first, leadoff hitter gone in the third. Now bad at the second base. He saw it. Isaac Paredes now. He's one for one with a two run homer his first time up. And that one fouled off. That misses. Oh. And it's a ball and a strike. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Next right. offering is in for a strike. The pitch. That one inside. Two balls, two strikes. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Next pitch misses. Full count now. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Margot. Manuel Margot up to the plate. He's 0 for 1. He's going, he's going. Run around the goal. Turned on, but foul wide of third. The 0 1. Swing and a miss. Paredes, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Back up the middle and a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. The throw to third. Not in time. He's safe. 
Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0 2 count. And now Alex Cora is out of the dugout, and he will make a move for the bullpen. That does it for Chris Sale as the lefty makes way. And this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after the. A new arm into the game, the righty, Mauricio Yovera. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. One away, runners at first and third. Harold Ramirez at the dish. And takes low for ball one. One ball, no strike. Rudders are at the corners, one away. That pitch in for a strike. One and the count one, one and one. And the right hander deals in there. And so now one and two. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. There's a swing and a drive. And it goes just foul. Back to the mound. Might have him hung up here. Over to Story for one. And that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over. So one hit is all they get. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Rays five and the Red Sox nothing. Back here at Fenway Park, Leading set off. for the bottom of the Florida third. Red Joe Sox. stepping in for Boston, Bobby Dahlbeck. Bobby Dahlbeck. The pitch. Upstairs. Nowadays, with advanced metrics and increased use of moving the infielders around, defense isn't necessarily about making errors. Are you able to get to the ball? Are you able to position fielders where guys hit the ball, but within the new shift rules? Righty to the plate. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, no, just excellent location on that inside fastball. It really locked him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Here's the speedy catcher, Connor Wong. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And an area that goes unnoticed is the coach that's responsible for positioning and then uh, the research person that's providing the information. So what we're seeing in baseball, so many more people behind the scenes that are contributing to the success between the lines. Swing and a pop-up. Caminero sizes this one up. And it's caught for the out. Back when you played it wasn't the empirical data we have no, now. It was a guy with a ruler easy. and a diamond yeah. taking a colored pencil oh, right. and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> that or just going off of gut or feel. What does it look like his swing is today? What's the pitcher throwing? They oh. are sticking to the metrics and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter, regardless of who the pitcher is on the mound. Next offering is in for a strike. One and one. Right, Next 
next offering upstairs. That's a strike across the top of the zone. The 2 2. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Red Sox go down 1 2 3. It's 5 0. Back in Boston, start of the fourth. Now here is Junior Caminero. Junior Caminero. And a pitch. Anything in particular stand out to you as far as moments at Fenway Park? Wow, you know, it's unfortunate because I remember as an Oakland A's player, we were up in the series against the Red Sox, two games to none. All we needed to do was close out a Saturday night ball game. We went extra innings. The Red Sox won that ball game. Now and then that. Sunday, the they pushed the series by winning game four Whoa. back to Oakland for game five. And unfortunately, they won game five as well. Walls in the box now. No balls in a strike. Grips one to right. And an automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others, and that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. And it's second with one away. Rene Pinto next to hit for the Rays. Move to second. Walls back on a dive. That was 2003, and the Red Sox would eventually get their hearts broken by Aaron Boone, but end the curse a year later. Out to center. And that one actually would be grabbed by Story. Now that's a tough play for the infielder, ranging back the into the outfield. Three. There's part of him that's saying, hey, yeah, where are yeah, you yeah. at, outfielder? Call yeah. me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Yandy Diaz now. He's already homered in this game. Singy, he's got a history of coming through into big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always oh. seems to deliver in those spots. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Pitch misses there, and that is ball one. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. Here's a one two. When you played, did you play with guys that you thought were clutch and sort of what were the attributes you said that's what he possesses that allows him to come through? Well, we always used to joke, you know, guys want to eat steak, and there were some that just had a knack, could understand that, all right, this is a, a big, you know, payout if I can come through with a knock here. But I think when you really look at the... And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. One left for Tampa, but they hold a 5-0 lead. Back here at Fenway, bottom of the fourth, here's Rafael Devers. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye as well. Glass now, back to work. That one is upstairs. Remember Mark Kotze, who was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. Next offering upstairs. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. 2-0. -oh. 
Yeah, there's the strike. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Burdansky. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now Justin Turner now. Fly to left his first time up. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Here's Alex Verdugo. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Pitch misses inside. 1 and 0. And the righty deals. And there's a ball. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Down and in, moved his feet. Three oh down. And there's ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to put them down right here. First and second, one out. Here's a big power threat. Adam Duvall. Just off the outside part of the plate. Here's an opportunity. If you're going to get back in this game, you have to take advantage of this situation. This feels like their chance. And it's one and one. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. The one one. That one missed. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Kicks and deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. Here comes a pinch. That's off the mark. Full count now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three balls, two strikes to count. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Turner at second, Verdugo at first, one gone. And they're Thank all you, loaded up. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Yoshida in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can. That's a base hit as a run scores. Runner at third puts on the brakes. Base is still loaded and still only one away. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. So the bases are loaded here, one man gone. And now the shortstop, Trevor Story. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. First oh, offering, oh, oh, oh. misses the mark.
kicks and fires. That one misses. Two balls, no strikes. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in a run. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Good hitters count the 2-0. Grounded to third. Could be two. Caminero to second to Diaz. That's two. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We played four. It's the Rays five and the Red Sox one. Back now at Fenway. Now, Randy or Rosarena. The pitch. And ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Zach Kelly getting ready to go. The wind and the pitch. Out in front and foul to the left side. Right side, Rafaela gets it to first. One up, one down. The right fielder, number 15, John Lowe. Josh Lowe next to hit for the Rays. That one the other way. Puts it away for the end. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in, Isaac Paredes. He's already homered here in this one. Fastball almost got him there. Straighten him up a little bit. Next offering is in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Ripped into right field. Base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Now that pretty much one. split the zone the down the middle, and those are the ones goes. where you got to make them pay. Here's the center fielder, Manuel Margot, one for two. In there, and it's 0-1. And downstairs. Paredes off of first with two away. Outside. Here's a 2 1. That one hooked foul. Line drive, base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now here is Harold Ramirez. And first offering is fouled off.
And a pitch. Late on that fastball. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Next pitch is in the dirt. And a count one and two. Right hander kicks deals. And now two and two. Just off the inside edge. And now filled up. Junior Caminero up next for the Rays. Righty delivers. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Swings and misses, struck him out. So the Rays strand a pair. They're up 5 1. Back inside Fenway Park, bottom of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Bobby Dolbeck. And a pitch. There's a strike. Oh. On the corner for a strike. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Wong batting for the second time, and that's strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Little dribbler up along third. He is safe, and that was bang, bang at first. Well, from the time you're a little bigger, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. So the lineup flips over. Sedane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And here it comes. And a foul ball. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does, and you're tied up. Caminero fires to second for one. On to first, double play, and that's the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We're through five. It's the Rays five and the Red Sox one. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And stepping in for the Rays, Junior Caminero. Yovera back to work. Slider misses outside. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Line drive. And a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. He was all over that one. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So, man aboard. So, next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Taylor Walls. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. 
Walls, 26 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2017. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Caminero gets his lead at first with nobody out. Pickoff throw. And he's back in safely. two now foul off the plate they'll do it again and the pitch battling here as he fouls it away Boils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Here's the 0 2. The punch out there, and there's one away. Rene Pinto next to hit for the Rays. He's gone, he's Here comes gone, the pitch. Gone. There goes the runner from first. Fouled off. He was late. Foul ball. The 0-2. And that's downstairs and outside. The pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Verdugo makes the grab, two down. The first base is number two, Yanni Diaz. And now the first baseman, Yandi Diaz. And he's already left his mark on this game. He certainly has, Boog. A two-run shot in the second inning, and that made an early impact on this game in a big way. Diaz measures six feet two inches, 215 pounds, and he was born in Cuba. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. One hit, one left. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rays five and the Red Sox one. Well, we go bottom six. Stepping in the long ball threat, Rafael Devers. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. And he deals. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. And the 0-2.
ground ball left side. Leadoff yeah. man retired in the sixth. Well, a well thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good Nobody downward break on that two. one. Designated hitter. So now Turner in on that right side. Turner, a former All Star, a member of the 1000 Hit Club, he joined the team as a free agent. Line drive, base hit right field. Now batter, right fielder, Alex. Man at first, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Alex Verdugo. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Way upstairs, one ball. Okay. ball one. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one. And that's in for a strike. The next pitch misses, and the count's even at two. Just missed. Left hand batter waits and ball four to a board. Almost a coin flip for the umpire in that call, but most umpires just don't yeah, want to give pitchers a break up in the zone like that. Adam Duvall now at the plate. Edge of the zone, call the strike, and it's 0-1. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the cow so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. At the belt and fires. Now 1-1. One one. One one. The pitch. On the ground, a short could be two. Walls over to second, double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Rays five and the Red Sox one. On the mound now, Zach Kelly. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Red Sox. Number 76. Zach Kelly. Now up for Tampa Bay, Randy Arozarena. One for three. Randy Arozarena. The why to kick the pitch. And yeah, that's outside. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Renan Bernardino up and loosening in the pen. Schreiber, a right hander, loosening up as well. Righty to the plate. And there's the strike. They say it went. One ball. And now the count is even. Good eye in that spot. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. 
checks and deals. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. And a touchdown for a hit. Around first and hustling for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Josh Lowe will hit next. Out of bounce right side. Dahlbeck yeah. takes it to the bag. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Now that second base is Paredes. Now it's the second baseman, Isaac Paredes. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast. His fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. That one's in there, 0-1. And the right hater deals. Swing and a miss. 0-2 oh, now. That looked like a case of deciding to swing no matter what. That pitch was way up. Nice job of the pitcher knowing that this hitter's looking for something up that he can drive, but he just expanded the zone to his advantage. A Rosarena stands at third with one gone of the inning. Next offering is down low. Yeah, that's ball two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Kicks and fires. And that just misses. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. And he walked him. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count 0-2, and you just couldn't find a way to put him away. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. Margot, the next to hit, takes ball one. In this situation, the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him, and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground, get two for one. you got to look for something up in the zone. At worst-case scenario, you deliver the sacrifice fly. In there at the knees. Now two and one. And a swing and a miss. First and third, one down. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. Two on, one out. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. The and now Harold Ramirez. This one smoked out to left. Yoshida makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Two left on. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Rays five and the Red Sox one. Set for the last half of the seven. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. The Red Sox in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. 0 1. -on -1. 
Strike on the inside corner. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The 0 2. Good job to fight that one off. Going to now. Lifted in the air down the left side. But Rosarena makes the grab on the run. Now that is short stop. Here's Trevor Story now. Story. Ball one low. Oh, the pitch. And a good eye there. Next pitch in for a strike. Two and one now. Just missed. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. And down on strikes he goes. Another strikeout for Glass now. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, no, the way no, that slider no, made no, him look. No, that was just nasty. No, Here's Bobby no, Dahlbeck. No, just no, missed. No, Bullpen movement for the Rays. Sean Armstrong warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Kelly getting cranked up as well. And a 1 0. -oh. And that one off the outside edge. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. Tosses across the first. Red Sox go one, two, three. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Rays five and the Red Sox one. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. John Schreiber. Number 46. John Schreiber. So digging in, Junior Caminero. The third base is number one. Junior Caminero. And a pitch. Can't glove it cleanly. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Up next for Tampa Bay, the shortstop, Taylor Walls. And the batter will be the shortstop, Taylor Walls. Now fly ball to right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. Up next for Tampa Bay. The catcher, Rene. And now the catcher for the Rays, Rene Pinto. That one hit to right. Verdugo ranging after it. Snags it on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing doing for Tampa. They lead this one, though, 5 1.
Sean Armstrong taking over on the mound and he's got a nice lead to work with so he should come in throwing strikes attacking these hitters. Connor Wong getting ready to hit for the Red Sox. The catcher. Connor Wong. And a pitch. That catches the top part of the zone. That's strike one. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. And here it comes. Called strike, a sinker at the bottom of the zone. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Here's the 0-2. In the air, left field. A Rosarena moving under it. He makes the grab, and there's one down. Now batting. The second baseman. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Sidane Rafaela. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And first offering is fouled off. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Right-hander kicks deals. The pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Ball one, no strikes. Good eye right there. Swings through that one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. High fly ball out to center field. Margot in pursuit. Nice grab on the run. And that is that. Nothing across here this half. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Rays five and the Red Sox one. We go to the ninth, and here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Schreiber back to work. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Schreiber, in his third season, he features a slider, a four-seamer, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. Slice down the right side. Righty delivers. And now one and two. One ball. Two straight. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Verdugo hauls it in, and there's one away. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Now the number two hitter, Randy Arozarena. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's 0 1. And a pitch. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Duvall makes the play. Two down. The right number 15, John. Two outs, base is empty. 
Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. And that one is inside. The next offering misses. And now 3-0. And fires in a fastball at 95. And that's, that's ball four. four. Take well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just no, mentally prepared, that's knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Paredes oh. stands in here, takes ball one low. Now move to first, Thanks. and he's back safely. Right-handed reliever, pitch misses, ball two. Low, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is fouled back. Next one is off the play, and the count is three and one. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Righty to the plate. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And the pitch. So now oh, two on and two outs. So close to getting out of it right there, but this inning still has life. First and second, two down. Manuel Margot next to hit for the Rays. That's in there, and that's strike one. And that's a strike. First and second, two down. That's off the mark, and it's one and two. That one down the line, and foul ball. One two to Margot. Stays alive. The one two. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number three. Back here at the ballpark. Leading Last off. chance for the home no, no, team. Right Here's Justin Turner. The designated hitter. Justin Turner. 
The right-hander back to work. There's the strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. And he deals. In the air, right field. And it drops in. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. It's amazing to me that he was able to put the barrel on that one. I mean, that pitch was pretty well outside, but great extension and bat control through the zone allowed him to drive it the other way. That was pretty impressive. So here's Boston's cleanup hitter, Alex Verdugo. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. First pitch, no, just misses. At the belt and fires. That one, 95 to finish him off. Now, now. And next for the Red Sox, Adam Duvall. Duvall. First offering, and it just misses. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out on that double play. High chopper to third. Caminero toss to second, and that's a double play to end it. A little sigh of relief for the pitcher there, ending the ball game with a nice double play. You always love when you can get two for one, especially when it wraps up the ball game. Nice win for these guys today. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. The final line score for this afternoon's ball.